Gosh, I just got back from work and I have an exciting uh, conversation that I'd like to, to talk to you about. Uh, we have recent interns who've joined us at my company and they're on a paid internship. And uh, I had a great conversation with one of them about investing and how important it is to be in the market for long periods of time. So here I am talking to a 20 something year old uh, and if they were to invest today, any amount of money, um, that will sit for another 40 years uh, until they turn 59 and a half and they reach retirement. And I realized that back when I was uh, that age, uh, probably about 20 years ago, I had an internship that I uh, was very fortunate to participate in. And that internship uh, paid me the most I had ever been paid uh, in a month um, because it was with, a, fortunately, a multinational company. The thing that I didn't know then was uh, what I should have done with that money, right? If I would have invested, uh, you know, one month of that three month internship, then I could have uh, had, you know, many, many more thousands of dollars than, uh, than I ended up with. And so this is, goes out to all of you interns uh, and uh, recent college graduates or recent high school graduates, uh, I'm hoping that you can look at this video. Uh, you can dive into our uh, Merriman Foundation Lifetime Investment Calculator, and you can kind of see what could have happened if you had some money uh, uh, simulating, you know, if you were younger, maybe 20 years ago or 40 years ago, uh, if you were to have invested uh, some of your internship or recent college graduation uh, or high school graduation um, gifts and what that could amount to over time. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into our Lifetime Investment Calculator. Recently. You can access the Lifetime Investment Calculator by going to paulmerriman.com hovering over best advice and then clicking on the lifetime investment calculator link. The calculator here is in the middle of the screen and I wanted to note that we have a video on how to use it uh, that if you're not familiar with it yet then that, that'd be valuable for you to watch. So this is the calculator as you see it when you land on the page and I wanted to walk through that story with you. So the first year that I'm interested in is 2004, because that's my internship year, okay? And I'd like to see how that would have changed to 2023. So uh, there's a 20 year duration, okay? So you can see my sequence here on the left-hand side, it starts in 2004 and goes through 2023, all right? The starting value is the initial deposit of $3,000. And I'm not going to make any contributions, right? So I'll just zero out the contribution amount. All right. I've, ex I've actually got some extra noise here that I don't want. Um, since, you know, in 2004, I was 20 years old. So it makes sense for me to focus on trying to create uh, savings with 100% stocks and 0% bonds, right? And the strategy that I'm interested in, uh, you know, I can kind of flip through the different strategies that are available. What we're looking at right now is if I would just put that money in 100% uh, stocks all in the S&P 500. So if I put that $3,000 in 2004 into the S&P 500, the ending balance that would be in my investment account right now would be $19,000. Uh, I could go and see what would happen if I was in a small cap value, right? So I'll do table B8. All right, and you'll see that the ending balance there would be 16,812. Uh, one of the ones that I am interested in is this two fund US equity strategy, which is 50% in all small cap value and 50% in the S&P 500. And so my investment account today would be, or I guess at the end of, of 2023, would have been $18,499 from that original $3,000 investment. Now I wanted to just uh, look at purchasing power, right? Because we know we put $3,000 in in 2004. Uh, I'll switch this from nominal to real, okay? And from a purchasing power perspective over those 20 years, that $3,000 grew to $11,000 of purchasing power uh, based on the first uh, sequence year. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to nominal. 
Now, interestingly, I was curious what would happen uh, if I back up 20 years. So, you know, we, don't, we have no idea what's going to happen next. Uh, but let's say that I invested uh, 20 years prior. So that would have been 1984. So the first sequence here would be 1984. And so this is kind of thinking, you know, let's say I put $3,000 in and I put it on a 40-year a, a uh, investment horizon. So from 1984 until today. What would that have turned into? Um, so I changed the duration here to 40 years. Again, one time $3,000 donation and donation investment. And that would have turned into uh, nominally around $262,000. Uh, that's, that's what would be sitting in my bank account right now if I would have uh, put that $3,000 in 40 years ago. One of the really interesting things about uh, about recent graduates and interns right now is that the IRA contribution limit is actually $7,000 this year, right? So if you can afford it, who knows uh, what your internship is paying. Uh, but if you could afford it, $7,000, uh, you know, 40 years ago would have turned into 600, I'm sorry, $7,000 40 years ago would have turned into $612,000 today. Um, that's crazy, right? So if, uh, if I was um, a college intern, I was 20 years old in 1984, and today I'd be around 60, right? I'd be able to, I'd have $612,000 in my bank account or in my investment portfolio if I was uh, to invest that money 40 years ago. Again, we have no idea what's going to happen in the future, but you can use the, the lifetime investment calculator to kind of simulate different time periods. So uh, it makes sense to me to keep that 40-year investment horizon, but let's say that I put that, that uh, money in in 1980, right? So in the first sequence years, 1980, $7,000 over 40 years, you could see that if, uh, you know, given the sequence of returns, that $7,000 would be $900,000 today uh, instead of six, you know, six or $700,000, right? And so you can kind of sh shuffle through, and let's say if I put it in from 1970 um, until 2009, it'd be $746,000, of course, because of that big crash uh, that happened in the 2007-2008. So I uh, wanted to just show you how much money could grow um, and uh, how to use this calculator. Also, if you wanted to change your strategies, uh, so this was the two, uh, the two fund U.S. Uh, equity strategy. That's half small cap value and half S&P 500. If you wanted to put it in a four fund worldwide, you could just uh, use table B3 there and it would show you uh, what that would have become. And you can play with uh, these variables over on the right hand side to see, you know, what this small, seemingly small investment today could grow into. My hope is that this video can help folks. Um, you know, if you are a recent graduate, if you are an intern, or you know a recent graduate, or you know an intern, uh, my hope is that you can help convince them to invest that $7,000 today uh, and into uh, probably a Roth IRA um, and, and see that money grow over your lifetime. All right, take care.